Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brandon, the SoCal Fish Brother. Um, so I want to get, I wanted to, uh, you know, show you guys a little bit what happened. Uh, my power actually went out, supposedly, right? <laughs> That's what I heard. And I lost five of my fishes. I lost um, one of my red tail catfish. I lost my hybrid. He was already like 13 or 14 inches. I lost one of my. Uh, one of my um, Asian albino red tails, and I lost one of my. Um, I lost one one of those. I lost one of my hybrids, and I feel like I'm missing something else. It was my Asian red tail hybrid shovel nose, and uh, I can't remember. Oh, my marble catfish. So yeah, I was kind of sad. I was like, dang, you know why? But just to give you guys an update, I did get a new fish though. Actually, I ended up picking up another uh, uh, albino Asian red tail. He's actually bigger. He's like around seven inches. I don't know if you guys can see. I picked him up. Um, I just noticed he has a big scratch. They always freak out when I stick my, my hand in there and they hit each other, which is kind of weird. But uh, I got another bass. I actually got that big bass in the back. I actually, his eyes a little messed up. I got him for a good deal. Like I was like, show me an offer, like 30 bucks. So I take it, all right, cool. And then it's funny because this guy, I got rid of him. I traded to a friend for actually those two bass, the little bass, uh, that little bass, and I traded him for this bass. And he, because he wanted it, he's like, it's a Tamantis, I really want it. I was like, all right, cool. I traded him to him. I actually go pick up a, a shovel nose. He's up there. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, I pick up a shovel nose. And and as I'm there, I'm like, hey, dude, th this fish looks familiar. I'm like, oh, no, I was like, is that a Tamensis catfish? I mean, uh, a Tamensis uh, bass. And he's like, yeah, yeah, it is. And he was like, uh, one of the, our friends, name's Ed, I could, you know, um, he was like, that was actually Ed's. And I was like, Ed, they're like, I traded one. He's like, yeah, he, he traded it in. He's like, I think that was yours, the one you had. I'm like, oh, really? He's like, yeah. So I asked him, like, dude, how much you asking for? And he gave me a good price. And I'm like, all right, cool. I paid it, you know, and I got him back. So I got I got, I got, got my Tamensis back. He recognized me right away. It was funny because I went in there, stuck my hand in, and I, and I literally just went like that. And and he just came to me, and I'm like, oh, shoot. You know, so I was like, dude, I'm like, this fish is, I was like, oh, it's a Tamensis. I had one. And that's how I realized, like, oh, that's, that is him because he recognized me. It was pretty funny. Um, and and I actually got a clown knife. He was actually up there, but he's already big enough, so I put him in there so he could get bigger. Um, and I did get uh, I don't know if you guys saw this is a uh, uh, I forgot his name. I think it's a Raku. They're known as a Raku Baku, I think, or sometimes they're known as a leather cat. This one's actually bigger. He's like around seven to eight inches. I got the Zangaro cats. I have one over here and one over there. He's, <laughs> as you guys can see, the red tails over there on top of him. <laughs> Looks pretty funny. Look at him. Freaking huge. But that's cool. I got a bass. Uh, I mean, I'm glad that I got some basses as well. I've been wanting something else. And actually, um, if you guys have been seeing it swimming around, I actually got an Arapaima. I got it for a killer deal. The guy, uh, the guy Ed, he actually didn't. He already had one. And he didn't want this one. It was a little bigger. So I ended up getting off his hands. But yesterday, one of them died on me. I actually had another uh, Arapaima up there. And it was a little smaller. Way smaller than that one. Um, I think caught pneumonia. The water was bad. I didn't catch it on time. By the time I already catched it, I'm asking information. It just died on me. I was like, shoot, man. I was kind of upset. Um, don't judge me. I mean, I get it. It happens to everybody. I said, you learn, you know, just my water wasn't clean enough. Uh, I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta clean it, you know. And I haven't had a lot of time to, to honestly, I've been working so much. So I was like, shoot, you know, now that's how I had to make sure every time I come in here, like check on my fish, make sure, make sure everything's good. Um, but I mean, right now the fish tank is doing good. Uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna probably go to another store tomorrow and see what they got. Um, the one thing that I'm pretty, uh, I want, I'm pretty excited. I'm actually gonna put the 300 gallon and have it outside. The only reason I haven't put it up yet is because it's so big. So it goes like from here to like, it's gonna stick out a bit. So what I was planning on doing is get a two by four. Actually, uh, I have a table outside. Put it in the bottom for more, more. Um, I say, it? more support, and then just place it like that. Put the table and just kind of have it like that. You know, it's gonna be pretty tall. It's actually gonna be really, really tall. So I'm excited because we're gonna be able to see the the fish better. Because this one's great. I like it. That's short, but it's too short. Like I feel like you have to really sit down and kind of pay attention to them. But I feel like the other ones, you could just sit. I feel like the other things gonna be better. This one, I'm gonna save this tank. I'm actually gonna save it, and um, I'm actually gonna. 
I'm actually gonna I have a feeling I'm gonna end up using it again knowing me because that one was actually a thing that I was gonna have in case for emergencies and I'm already using it for other fish I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up using this one to grow them out bigger because it is pretty wide I mean I, I forgot I don't know exactly the measurements but it is pretty wide like yeah it's pretty wide you could put a big catfish in there I mean I have these guys this guy's like 16 to 17 inches this guy's like 14 inches you know he's big and fat so my redescents are doing good um i'm surprised those didn't die the reason is because they get air you know so those didn't die on me excuse me and uh they're upon my dad in here um that's how i was saying because people are like oh probably got pneumonia and it died um but none of these guys died on me like it's weird all these catfish all my catfish are, are doing good like i picked up the shovel nose there i'm gonna regrow it out i'm pretty sure i'll grow it out quick um i'm a master at that i have um you know i'm growing out the dorado cat and uh Paraiba, they're, they're freaking fat right now because all they've been eating is feeders. Um, and I actually uh, got some other catfish right here. They're called the. Uh, I forgot they're called Fine Fillwood. I forgot the name of it. But they're doing pretty good. I got the uh, Arrow, the Erwini cat in the back. He's hanging out. I don't know what the catfish is right here. He looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can see. He's right here. I got him, um, I don't know who he is, I forgot his name, uh, if you guys could identify that would be great, but you guys could DM me, but he's looking awesome, he's pretty big, um, but yeah, this tank is doing good, you know, I want to make sure these guys grow out big, uh, as soon as they get bigger, you know, I'm going to put them with the big boys, but right for right now, I'm not going to put them with the big boys, because I know they'll get eaten, and and right now, they're, I mean, they're good, they're eating, they're eating healthy, they're, you know, I just cleaned the tank as well, you guys could tell it's like pretty clean right now, I was going to get even cleaner, um, but but yeah i mean i'm kind of upset my aeropimo died i wanted to really have two but i'm probably I'll, I'll get another one you know just you know we all make mistakes it is what it is you know but uh but uh but yeah i mean i'm pretty excited uh i want to go hit some stores soon get more fish what do you guys want to see that's my question like what's the next fish i guess want me to get the one i'm aiming for right now is actually the the slobbering catfish but the main one's called the gooch cat the gooch gooch catfish yeah uh, I really want that one. That one looks so cool. I like how the whiskers are like on the side. Um, I really want it because it looks cool <laughs> and I think it'll look good in here. Obviously, I want to get one like a good decent size because I know those guys could eat practically anything and they will if they bite something. So I don't want them to eat none of my bass, none of my catfish. But um, actually my Fraelis too, look, they're getting big. I'm actually pretty happy. They've been, they've been hanging out a lot here. And since they've been in here, they're getting big. This is my biggest Raphael. I, I don't know. People like people don't like Raphaels a lot. I like Raphaels. They're cool. The only thing about these fish is that they take forever to grow. Like, how do I explain it? Those are probably the biggest Raphael catfish I ever had. And why? Because they take forever to grow. Like, literally, since I started, since I started the fish game, I had them, and that's how big they really got. It's freaking crazy. Um, but I'm, I'm excited this one the rakubaku that i was teaching you guys that's actually a female version that's a female version of the weenie so now that i got the weenie later on once they get big enough i could go ahead and put it with that one and it could have they could i could breed them and probably have you know they could have babies and stuff so i'm excited hopefully get some fries but my hybrid's doing good my other hybrid passed away the bigger one it died on me i was kind of upset but um i know he'll you know he's doing kind of good now he was he was stressed out he would be swimming a lot right here like kind of looking for the other catfish but you know so I was like sure i need to get some other catfish in here the, the good thing i actually got the the albino asian reto back and he started kind of hanging out with them but the arapaima he's actually been hanging out a lot more with the arapaima so i'm kind of excited for that uh, i know that arapaima is going to get big anytime soon so i'm excited for growing that guy out um but especially these bass but but again guys i'm, I'm probably gonna hit up some i'm gonna probably hit some stores tomorrow so which is today's sunday probably monday and not during the week i will make another video and see what i get and post up i'm gonna try to pull i'm gonna try to record and uh i want to set up that tank already you know uh, i want to really want to put up that 300 ga gallon tank and grow those guys out because i know later on i'm gonna need a pond so i'm gonna make a pond no matter what um but yeah guys thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe hit that like button um like it's follow me on instagram if you guys don't it's on salt cow fish brothers and again you know dm me let me see what you guys want to see what type of content and i'll make sure i'll try to provide that for you guys but again thank you guys for watching take care guys deuces